in today's commute we're going to be going over pretty much the Lira graffiti and what I found more about the bike itself pretty much one of the people actually pointed out that um, Lira at least as far as you know Luna Cycles which is selling the bike actually said that it's going to be two 17.5 amp hour batteries which is actually only 15 if you actually do the math on the watt hours because each of the batteries are 910 watt hours a piece so you're only really getting 15 amp hours out of each battery but that's not the only um kicker the kicker is going to be is even if you go with the dual battery setup as i stated in the video before this that i thought okay maybe you'll get the full power to dual battery setup well i found out they're not using a battery equalizer slash blender so that means that you won't actually get the full um nominal power that they're claiming of 2500 watts so it's pretty much uh going to be a deal breaker as far as i'm concerned because that bike will not do its rate specs at all whatsoever you know what i mean it may be a more powerful bike than the 750 watts that everyone's putting out but they claim 2500 nominal and that's kind of what i expect is 2500 nominal watts out of that motor and there's no way in that configuration that battery will be able to put out 2500 watts so they're lying on the specs pretty much the most it's going to be able to put out is um 1770 watts if you're lucky so that's the thing i wouldn't buy the bike pretty much i would hold off and wait the bikes i do recommend would be like the onyx um city 2 pretty much or i'm not sure how you pronounce it but i would get that bike over the lira graffiti any day because it actually has a true 60 volt battery and 60 amp continuous power and that's what you want to look at is the, what the continuous power that that bike's gonna be able to handle so that bike will easily put out its 3800 watts continuous that they're claiming and it got different modes where you can actually um push it down on the controller and stuff like that so you can get 1500 watts out of if you want to, or you can get 2500 watts so that's the nice thing about the onyx bike and that's probably the one i'm actually um considering getting during the springtime now now that someone pointed it out to me because i'm actually quite impressed with not just the specs but the way the bike looks and stuff like that so if i had to recommend a bike um that's a replacement for the graffiti i mean the lira graffiti bike get the onyx the onyx is gonna be a much better bike it's actually gonna do its rated specs of 3800 watts continuous and it's peak power and stuff like that because like i said the battery they're using is capable of doing 60 amp continuous and 90 amp um peak which is more than enough and that's what you need you know when you're doing a high power hub motor that's why i kind of found it out when people are doing videos watching a guy that only weighed 190 pounds and he could barely get that bike and the max he could get it at was 37 miles per hour on gps as he had his phone on there and that was the max he could get that bike up to and he's only 190 pounds so that bike definitely is not doing its um rated power anywhere near it's doing maybe 1500 watts if that you know what i mean just because um you know you could get that out of a 1500 watt hub motor where you could go up to 35 37 miles per hour and when it was going uphill it wasn't like it had enough torque you know where it was actually able to even maintain that speed so i know for a fact that bike is not gonna do 2500 watts nominal power as they so claim now the other bike you could get is like the one i'm riding right now which is the reason why i choose this for the commute today is actually like a stealth bomber clone and you don't have to get in the kit i got in the kit because i wanted to build it custom with the sabotage controller and also i went with i actually changed the brakes again on this thing and went with dual um quad pistons instead of the dual pistons that it has for better stopping power so as you notice if you watch my other video on the stealth bomber it was doing a lot of squeaks before and now it's pretty much dead silent 
it's using a true sine wave controller and stuff like that and you're getting the actual power that you know is required because you got the 150 amp bms so it's more than enough capable of supplying this um 5000 watt qs205 motor and you can see there if i really want to crank it i can you know what i mean it doesn't hesitate at all getting up to speed so this would actually be another you know alternative as far as the price bracket but i get it. some people don't want a big bike some people like that low to the ground bike which i do too don't get me wrong that's why i'm thinking about getting myself that onyx thing because it's a step through design it looks heavy too it doesn't look like it's gonna break in half <laughs> at least i hope not but <laughs> You know, it looks pretty well built for what it is, and I'm considering getting one during the springtime when, you know, because right now we're in winter time. We're actually going to get a storm later today, so it's probably the last time in a while I'll be able to enjoy some e bikes because you don't want to ride e bikes in sub freezing temperature, like below zero degrees, because you could actually damage the battery and stuff like that. But this bike definitely does its um, power and stuff like that, no problem now as far as you know as far as what other options there is there's really not very many other options because you know one of the bad things about it is is a lot of companies don't make you know any bikes that go over 750 watts obviously for legality reasons and stuff like that you know what i mean because the limit is 750 watts you know it's not 2000 to you know thousand watts and stuff like that those are considered illegal you know at least as far as road use goes so but i mean you could always set the controller down to where you know they're illegal i honestly wish they would change that because you know a lot of people use these for commuting and one of the things is is that you know in order to keep up with traffic and stuff like that you really do need something a little bit more than 750 watts you know huh if you want to be able to pull in and out you know and so forth but like i said choice is yours you know not all bikes are for everyone obviously everyone got their personal preference and stuff i personally like this bike as my daily commute the reason why i got already over 300 miles on it already because i ride this bike quite a bit because it just can pull in and out of traffic and i can understand why people want the lyric graffiti because the lyric graffiti is supposed to be able to do that and it's a you know low to the ground design so that's the reason why people are going after that bike but unfortunately it just doesn't do its rated specs and that's the problem you know what i mean if the bike don't do its rated specs then i can't recommend a bike that they're advertising on the website on everywhere they're selling and even having the you know pretty much the influencers and all that actually advertises us that you can see here this is a very steep hill and i'm not even at a quarter throttle and this thing handles it like a champ that's what you want but unfortunately you're not gonna get that with the lyric graffiti you'll be lucky to get 1500 watts and i noticed that too because i looked at that hub motor and being on a 20 inch rim a real 25 to 3000 watt motor is a lot bigger than what they're showing in the actual videos and in the pictures and stuff like that that motor is way too small to be able to pull out 2500 watts continuous of course unless you're using like you know 60 volt or 72 volt battery and pretty much overclocking if you want to um sort of speak where you're actually putting more power than what the motor is weighted for which you can do you just got to be careful because you don't want to burn out the windings and stuff like that in the motor too but the motor probably will handle that no problem it's just unfortunately it's not what it's you know claimed to be at least as far as spec wise and i do got to answer eventually that um car and there's a lot of traffic here so i'm gonna have to I'm gonna be waiting <laughs> but like i said if you're looking to get the lira graffiti expecting it to be um you know as fast it's not going to be you know what i mean that thing like i said I watched so many videos of it here. Heard you go do top speed run at 15 on only mode three, and you can see how easily this thing's able to keep up with traffic and go up to speed. And that's what you would expect from a bike that's able to do close to 3,000 watts. And I only got a mode three, so this thing's actually 
even though it's peaking about 5,000 watts, actually only pulling about 25 to 3,000 watts continuous because, you know, it's on mode 3, so mode 5 I'll be able to get a lot faster, but going down the roads and stuff, I don't really need it that fast, so that's why I put it in mode 3. But you can see that's what the Lear Graffiti should be able to do. Not, you know, <laughs> it's very power. And that was going on an incline at 15%, so, you know, that's a pretty steep hill, and it's a continuous one, which are the worst type of hills, where even my 1,000-watt bikes um, sometimes struggle unless you're pedaling every. So that's the power you should be getting if it was a real 2,500-watt, you know, e-bike. Unfortunately, it's not, you know. Now the other question I um, want to answer that I also got a question on was What happens if you're actually, you know, why is it for example that A two-wheel drive bike like the Yolen for example can only do about 20, 29 miles per hour On a heavy guy versus 31, 32 miles if it's just a single motor um, A single rear hub motor for example in the back and stuff like that and i can actually answer that question it's actually due to drag it's not due to controller limitations that people are telling you and stuff like because the controller is not limited on that and i know that because i already went ahead and did all the settings and stuff the only limitation they put on there was when you originally took it out of the box it was limited to 15 miles per hour and i was able to easily take that off by just going into the p settings and changing that you know obviously to the max you know you can see how this bike's doing 41 43 and that's real that's you know that's not um bullshit what do you call it speedo that's actually um set to the gps um you know because i actually changed the settings to match the gps speedo and you can see this bike handles it with absolutely no problem and both rates are actually doing really good on this thing and i went to do um quad pistons zoom hydraulic brakes so here there's no squeak or anything like that where compared to the video if you watch the videos of this bike before every time you came to a stop or try to slow down you'll get a squeak out of it so i went ahead and fixed that problem i just upgrade the brakes pretty much all right so now i gotta turn here let me turn the turn signal on and you can see here this bike stops with no problem now <laughs> the way it's supposed to be And there you go and this is gonna be the end of the commute so hopefully you know i helped you make your decision if you do i would hold off on you know pretty much pre-ordering the lira graffiti and if you really want a bike like that just go with Onyx city too okay and then here's what a 5000 watt motor looks like on a 26 inch rim now the 3000 watt motor is the same size as this 5000 watt motor so it'll be the same size and this is a 26 inch rim on a 20 inch rim it's gonna come up to about here and if you look at the lira graffiti you'll notice that that they're pretty much it's a smaller motor so that that motor is likely only a 1500 watt but here's the soon quad piston brakes that i actually upgraded to in the front and also in the rear and they're super signed they've been working good i'll have to see how well it's gonna work over time and stuff, but they've been doing great. So this is pretty much the size of the motor that you would get if it was a real, probably 2,500 watt motor. And I don't think it's 25, I think it's only a 1,500 watt motor. They are using a good controller though, an ASI, which I like. So that's the good thing, but the battery is lacking and I don't think the motor's capable of doing the 2,500 watt NAMO as they claim. I knew I had one around on a 20 inch rim, which is what it's on. And this is what a, I would expect a 2500 watt motor to look like, at least size wise. And you can see how big that is. That's on a fat tire 20 inch rim. And you can see from here to the rim, the spacing there is not very much, but that's a massive motor compared to the 2500 watt that the uh, Lyra Graffiti is claiming. It's smaller than this. So that's why I don't believe it's actually a 2500 watt motor.